Hello folks, welcome to episode 18 on the Strangecraft server and today I'm back in the East Ice Road finishing off this 1000 block long extension to my Wither Skeleton Farm as you may well remember and uh, I'm told that the entire design is Crazy's, uh, no I was blaming Cyber and Crazy, it's just Crazy's fault. So uh, yeah, thanks Crazy. Uh, some serious pain building this but uh, it's actually been quite enjoyable to be fair, most of it. A little bit tiring at times, but uh, you yeah, know, it's going to let me get to my Wither Skeleton Farm so much quicker without using a ton of rockets. I've been flying down a perilous 3x1 tunnel with a final descent over a lava lake into a, a ridiculously dangerous landing. So anyway, I'm going to get this finished up and then I am going to... Uh, we're going to head into... Uh, I don't know if you remember, but in the last episode we did a prank on Carnage and, uh, and Hornist where I stole a diamond throne and played Rule Britannia on note blocks. I just added something to it briefly before they got to see it and I just wanted to quickly share that with you. And here we go, so I put these dispensers and I've, I've crafted up some fireworks, some red, white and blue. And now when it plays the tune, here we go. Isn't that superb? Isn't that a hundred times better? It came about because Catch was dancing to the, the tune and he just let off a firework. I was like, you know what? Got to add some fireworks. So I think that's made the prank a hundred times better. Great stuff. Okay, let's get back into actually, you know, doing something productive. Okay, and as you can see, we're back over at the Wither Skeleton Farm. Now we've got that tunnel complete and the, the, the extension is done. It's time to work on the Wither Skeleton Farm. Now, this is how I have been AFK in here. I put in two blocks of sand just to protect me from any gas or anything that, that dropped down. And then I just sort of stand here and kill them. The storage for this farm is woefully inadequate. The the bones, I've got four double chests and they fill up very, very quickly. Coal is the next thing to fill up and yeah, I've got four double chests for wither skeleton schools that are just never ever gonna fill up and it's gonna take a long time, put it that way. So, here's the plan. I'm gonna build out this platform that I am on now. I'm gonna do some redstone, so I'm gonna have a dropper line, I guess you would call it, going upwards so I can raise the storage well above this platform so I can have plenty more storage. And then I'm going to wrap it all in a nice AFKable safe with a skeleton farm room. And I think that's going to look 100 times better than what I currently have. And you can see what I mean about the perilous landing over lava. The only way down here is to fly down. It is lethal. So we're also going to make a tunnel off that extension that we've done. And, uh, and the whole thing will hopefully come together and, you know, just be something that I'm proud of. So, as you can see, I have now built a platform up above the level of the Nether Fortress and that heads towards that extended ice road that I was talking about, that I've done the 1000 blocks. And I've also started on the room that I'm actually going to be doing the killing in and the storage. And as you can see, I am using the red nether brick. Not a material I've used before, I wanted to use something different. I thought this would be quite cool to use. And then I'm going to line it with the, the spruce logs and uh, I think that's going to look quite good. And you can see my old platform down below where I've got to bring up the storage from down there. So loads of work to do on there so I can get rid of that hole that's currently in the floor. That's just in place at the moment so I can still use the farm if need be. But I think that's going to look quite good. And I'm going to do similar materials for the tunnel as well. So I've made really good progress. This is the, the tunnel as it stands at the moment. So I've combined the, the normal coloured nether brick with the the red rather rather <laughs> the the red nether brick <laughs> and the spruce logs as you can see as well as the spruce wood for the ceiling. And I've just realised I still have my light overlays on there. I'll turn those off. He says, there we go. And uh, yeah, so I think that's looking good. And I've combined it with the gray carpet to make it spawn proof. So I think that's looking pretty, pretty good. I think that's a pretty good start. And obviously all that is going to be topped with spruce slabs to make it spawn proof. And we've got to fix that sand block as well at some point. So excellent progress on this so far, I think. What do you think? I think it's good. So I'd had enough for the evening and I went to AFK the sheep farm because Catch needs some light blue wool and even before my screens came on I could hear the sound of chickens which is the hallmark of a certain carnage and um, I appear to be wearing my own head as a helmet and more on that new skin in a little while before the end of the episode. So I would say that Cyber 
and Carnage have been here and I've been pranked yet again. So I think, yeah, more revenge is needed. I, I stepped it up a notch a couple of episodes ago to, to try and, you know, put an end to this coming back from AFK and finding I've been pranked. So it obviously didn't work. So I've really got to up my game, I think, and, uh, and get some payback. Absolutely disgraceful stuff. So it's been a pretty busy day and I'm finally ready to record some footage of the, the finished build. So as you can see, this tunnel's pretty similar to how it was before. I have lit it up. And uh, here we go. So, oh, so much storage. There's five rows for bones, four for coal and one for wither skulls. That should be more than enough. The overflow is dispensed into lava so it won't back up. There's a... The crafting bench underneath there, there's another chest behind me, I've I've done the ceiling, I could do with neatening that up a little bit, and there's a, a dropper line that I talked about before, so that's a really cool design, it's a little bit noisy, but it does the job, and then the traditional sorting system. So yeah, I am really pleased with how that's gone, and uh, I've got so much done in this episode, sometimes it takes a day to record an episode, or the material for an episode, and sometimes it takes... Well, this one took well over a week just because of the sheer amount of work involved. So I briefly mentioned my skin. Let's uh, let's switch to a different view. So here it is then, the new skin. And this is courtesy of a member of our Discord called So Cappy, who took time out of his day to give me a brand new skin. It's something I've wanted for a while. And uh, he took a huge amount of creative direction from me. I, uh, I gave him a whole list of demands. It was uh, bald and a beard, please. And yeah, you know, with those extensive demands, he has come up with this brilliant skin. And what I love about this skin is he looks mean. He looks angry. He looks like he's going to do some damage to you. Uh, the fact that I can't hit a, a barn door from five foot is uh, neither here nor there. It looks like I could, you know. I love this skin. It's awesome. So cappy. There will be a link to his channel down in the description of this video. I highly recommend you uh, you check it out. Thank you very much for this new skin, guys. Let me know what you think of the skin as well down in the uh, in the comments. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for in this episode. It's been it's been a long one for me. So uh, anyway, thank you. I'm Ab Fielder. Goodbye.